Hello all, welcome once again. In the last video we saw what are the things we are going to cover in this application and also we saw some of the basics of RESTful Web Services application. Now in this video we will start with setting up our project. So let's start. Now the IDE which I am going to use in this project is Spring Tool Suit. You can use any IDE of your choice. If you have Eclipse you can download the plugin STS plugin in your Eclipse by going to Eclipse marketplace search for STS and you will get this plugin and you have to install this plugin if you are using STS no need to download but if you are using Eclipse you have to do it like this what that plugin will do it will enable you to start a spring boot project see this option spring starter project this option you will be getting after downloading that plugin so that plugin is basically for spring related works so now you can go to file and create a new spring starter project i will start in my working set i am just creating a project in my youtube project working sets so that it will help me manage all my different projects so you can start it from here you can create the project from here file or you can create a new working set and you can create the project so I will go and create a spring starter project now uh, the name of the project which I want to give is web services techno tab and maven plugin <laughs> the packaging will be jar language will be java and 1.8 version this group id I want to keep it com.techno tab the artifact id is nothing but your uh, name of the project it will be automatically populated when you type it here web service techno tab and the version will be by default it will be this one let it be like that description you can give it anything and the package structure com.technotab.app this one you can give it as per your choice now when you click on next button it will ask you for selecting the dependency so basically when a spring boot project in the spring boot project you have to select certain dependencies and it will be downloaded from maven repository so we are making a restful web services application so we will need a web so web is mandatory thing for restful web services application now next thing we want is dev tools so dev tools is basically when you make any change in the application the server need to be restarted for the changes to pick up so dev tool if you are keeping the dev tools the dev tools will restart the project for you when you are making any changes in your program now uh, we are going to use a uh, in memory database that is a s2 database s2 database it is a in memory database you can use oracle or you can use mysql whatever you are having now uh, we are going to connect our application with uh, database so we need a JPA and we need an actuator as well we will see the work of it later point of time now let's click on next button and finish so it will start downloading the dependencies from internet it will take some time depending on the internet speed now this is the project which I got after creating the project is having a boot and dev tools annotation boot shows that it is a spring boot project and dev tools because we have added the dependency dev tools now let's see the project structure that we have got we have got a default web service techno tab application now we have got a resources folder with a static template and application.properties a test folder we have got the same package structure now uh, we have the system jre library and the maven dependency we just got downloaded from internet now in the pom.xml we will see what all things we have now let's have a look into our pom.xml you can see that uh, spring boot starter parent this is the spring boot version that we have got now these are the things which we entered in the beginning while creating the project and the dependencies which we have added present here actuator being boot starter data gpa then a starter web and dev tools s2 database and the test let's see what we have got in the web services techno tab application 
and this we have a main method and we are having a run method which is running our web services technotab application dot class it will run this class now if everything is working fine you will be able to run this project let's start by running the project you go to run as and click on spring boot application so in the console you can see The Tomcat is started at port 8080 default port exposing two endpoint slash actuator that we will see it later what are all this for now you have to understand that our Tomcat has started our application is running on port 8080 you can see the status of your application by uh, going to boot dashboard when the boot dashboard you can see here it's the local application web services technotype application is up and running at 8080 in the next video we will dive deep into it thanks